Alright, what's up? It's your boy Bobby W223 here, and I just got through watching the um, Superman vs. Goku death battle fight. Link will be in the description if you haven't seen it yet, and you know, <clears throat> if you don't care about spoilers or if you want to watch it again or whatever. <clears throat> Once again, uh, spoiler spoiler alerts, I'm saying that right now. I'll put that in title, title spoilers. Um, if you guys watched my prediction video, I pretty much called it about the sun being the d d uh, differentiator, excuse me, being the differentiator and being the thing that will pretty much give Superman the extra help that he needed. I mean, I hate him, I'm just saying, you know, but I, I pretty much predicted that the sun was going to be the uh, d differentiator. Um, it didn't go exactly like how I predicted it. Um, in, my, in my prediction video, I said Goku was basically going to, you know, blast Superman into the sun and then um superman would get charged and then kill him which is what happened but um i thought that it would be a lot quicker i guess it, it, it pretty much did happen the way i say like uh super saiyan 4 goku he uh, blasts superman into the sun and then superman starts to heal up and then by the time goku uh realized it Superman basically gained enough strength to take him out, so it was just too late at, at that point. So yeah, ba basically what what I had said, I guess actually, it, it pretty much went more more or less the way that I had predicted with Goku blasting Superman to the sun. But I will say that was one hell of a fight. That was dope from an animation standpoint, from the information, the presentation, the 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 comedy, the whole thing was was great. Like the the an analyst for both characters was bro breaking down. I I feel very 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 well for both characters and the explanation at, after the fight was over and they were explaining you know why Superman won and everything like that. That was explained very very good. It wasn't you know too biased or anything like that. I I feel um, the little skit I guess or whatever you want to say. Uh, at the very beginning of the fight, the little team four star thing that was pretty funny. It was like a uh, Superman cartoon. It was so showing a, a Superman, you know, catching an airplane, you know, shit that Superman does. And they had uh, that random guy was like dubbing over the voice or whatever. And then the, it was uh, the the Dragon Ball Z characters was watching it on TV, and it was like the, the team four star guys was talking. That it, that was all cool. The fight, uh, uh, the actual battle was probably about 16 minutes long, so it, it was very very entertaining. And like I said, I pretty much called Superman winning. Even though I wanted Goku to win, that's who I was, I was rooting for. I'm a bigger fan of, of Goku and Dragon Ball Z. But unlike a lot of Superman fans who don't really watch Dragon Ball Z or don't know that much about Goku, I didn't just automatically write Superman off. Obviously, like I said, I, I, knew, I pretty much knew he was going to win, even though I wanted Goku to win. I know it's a lot of uh, Superman fans out there who aren't Dragon Ball Z fans, so they just automatically said, oh, Superman's going to win, not really knowing anything about Goku. You know what I mean? They just automatically assume Superman was going to win <clears throat> because of how strong he is. But see, a lot of those Superman fans didn't know about his magic pole. They didn't, you know, they didn't know a lot of things about Goku. They just automatically assume, oh, well, Superman pretty much can't be beat because of how strong he is. But you, but you didn't even know how strong Goku is. I mean, shit, look at what, look at what Doomsday did to Superman. So, like, you know, which they pointed out, you know. And it, it was funny what you know this is kind of like a what if what if the battle had went in into the night you know Su superman was already running uh in the beginning of the fight even though it did look like it was starting to get kind of dim like, like the sun might have been going down I, I don't know if that was just me when i was watching the video or whatever but you know superman you know he flew away tried to get to the sun the part you know in the preview where he's like oh you think this is a game i haven't be i haven't even begun to play and then he flies off and then goku teleports and catches them and they're in kind of like the dragon ball z you know uh, d d desert wasteland type of area or whatever and then goku smacks him with his power pole again and then he starts uh uh, swinging the his uh, his weapon around or whatever, uh, and then Superman fucking grabbed that shit and threw it away because he knew that Goku could probably have killed him with it with that uh, with this magic staff or whatever because it's magic, you know what I'm saying? But Superman, you know, obviously knowing that it was magic when when Goku was beating with his staff or pole, whatever you want to call it, in the beginning of the fight, the, which was in the preview or whatever. You know, Superman's like, oh, shit, it feels like magic. So then when Goku tried to use it again, he smacked him with it, you know, in the head or whatever. And then Go or uh, Superman grabbed his staff and fucking threw that shit away. Even though I don't understand why Goku couldn't have flown and gotten that. I thought that was kind of weird. Like, he could have easily grabbed that shit and fucking power pole extend, him, extend the, the staff into Superman's head and killed him. But, hey, not trying to hate. I'm just saying there was some little inconsistencies there. But, you know, um... Uh, 
Goku, you know, he spared Superman with the kryptonite. You know, Goku could have killed him right there, just like Goku could have died with the whole pressure point thing. He's up against the wall or on the building or whatever. Superman was, you know, could have easily killed him right there. But Goku, you know, he he uh, got a, a sensu being. So each character's kind of got their their freebie, I guess you could say. And it, it basically all came down to the sun. And that, I knew that was going to happen. Goku was going to blast him to the sun, not realizing that was what, you know, you know, helped Superman out. And then uh, Superman was sunba sunbathing or whatever you want to say. And then just, it was it was a wrap. Even Super Saiyan 4 with the Dragon Fist, which I, for a second I thought Goku might have caught him with that, but no. Nah. And what's really funny is both those fools basically ended in like a super punch from both uh, characters like Superman was all you know sun you know charged up or whatever from the extra help that we, he got from the sun uh, he was all sun charged up and then he you know was about you know to punch uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and then Goku used his super uh, dragon fist on him so they're both boom they swung at each other and they were like in the core of the earth like basically Superman like darted Goku back down to earth and not like they were both in in the core of the planet and they both super punched each other or whatever and it blew up the planet so my question is wouldn't that almost in a way kind of ish make it a tie obviously superman won because goku died but just like goku superman's whole purpose is to protect earth you know and protect people he loves like lois lane and all these people uh yeah they all died whether you want to say, oh, it didn't count because in the end they were in the Dragon Ball Z, you know, area, the little desert area. It's still Earth. They were still on planet Earth. That shit blew up at the very end of the fight. <laughs> Superman killed everybody that he swore to protect to take out Goku. After he got his extra health from the sun. But yeah, once again, great, great fight. Uh, hands hands down, uh, uh, the best death, death battle I've seen, even though my boy Goku lost. Um, great, great uh, um, information and, and um, all the different analyzing that they did for both characters was very, very thought out. You could tell that they really took their time and thought everything through. Um, yeah, the, the fight was great, all that stuff, you know. Um, hopefully there isn't going to be any new abilities or any new moves that's going to be in the new Man of Steel movie or the new Dragon Ball Z cartoon movie that's coming out. Both DBZ or, or Goku, we want to say, and uh, Superman, both of those characters, there, there's a new movie coming out for both this year. One being a cartoon for Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and then, you know, the new Man of Steel movie coming out. So hopefully there isn't anything exponential from both movies that would have made a difference. I guess more or less for Goku since he's the one that lost. So, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty fair. I mean, once again, the, they had the whole kryptonite thing the sensu beans you know both characters use the sun technically goku did heal from it too because he was drained after using super saiyan 4 and the ko ken using like a super kamehameha and blasted superman to the sun he was drained so we used a spirit bomb to gather energy from the sun to create the spirit bomb and then use the spirit bomb's energy and like absorb it or whatever and, and he power back up so in a way yes they did both heal from the sun but superman was always constantly getting you know, heal from the sun, you know, the whole time. And, you know, the, the higher altitude he got, the more he automatically got healed from it. Whereas Goku, he had to use the spirit bomb at the end while Superman was, was sunbathing, even though he was still getting a little help from it the whole time. But, you know, great fight. Uh, link will be in the description. Go check it out. Uh, yeah, really, really good. I, I called it Bobby W223.